Are you able to hear me? Yes, good morning everyone. Good morning. Shall we begin the session? Yeah, today also uh, session yeah, is just listen. Due to some technical faults, it get delayed. In the last class yesterday also there were some technical faults basically. So I apologize for that. Okay, let's start the session. Uh, today I'm going to take with the next component that is a CFMX component technology. You have an idea about the CFMX, what is CFMX, how it is used. So now, what are the various technologies that is used? Or that is available with this, uh, or that is we can say the made that made it available with the with the database. So what's over the component technology? What's over the systematic approach that is carried out that makes a component technology of CMX? So call fusion component is another approach to systemize the code for convenient future reuse. So whenever we take, whenever we uh, make the approach to systemize the code to make the effort for the conventional or convenient future reuse that is used for the developer or for distribution to the other developers. And this component feature has some of the object-oriented characteristics, but is not considered as a true object-oriented programming approach. Why it is not considered as a true object-oriented approach? Because in CFMX, it also serves as an interface to other technologies such as the Flash and the web services. So again, there are two parts of this, Flash and the web services. And the component usually contains a set of functions also known as the methods and is similar to the UDF library files. There are two parts on this one is a flash one is the web service that contains a self of set of the functions and for the application developers the components are hiding the details of the code and focusing on the functionality this functionality permits the use of each and every CMMX stack and the functions that can access the database that can access the protocols for our systems and the code which makes the technology extremely flexible. Yeah, uh, this, this component may be used as an interface. This, both of them, Now, the next part is the authorization example. So let's start with the difference between first of all authentication and the authorization. So when we say about the authorization, that is, yeah, uh, just a minute, can I? The authorization and authentication are the two, two processes of a security that is used in the many application for the security reason. And if authorization that is providing the users with the credentials for entering the application, so that can be designed in a way which permits a code to be reused which makes the application to be reused, designed to be reused, that saves the ourselves, that saves for future redesign of the same task. So whenever we use the designing, whenever we use the application that becomes relevance, that becomes failure for the future redesign of the same task. So authorization means whether the person is or the society or the we can say the firm is authorized or not. Authentication means Authentic, yes, authenticate user or not. Let's take an example. Uh, when you create your email ID, so there is a unique password and the unique username. That means you are authorized for that. That is unique for you only. No one else can use that one. That facility, that uh, term is provided by the authorization. Right. When you log in the into the red system or the gmail by passing or by supplying or by feeding the email id and the password so what happened when there is a mismatch in the email id and the password that does not open the page why because you are not the authenticate user at that time 
so authentication comes next after authorization so in simple terms if i precise uh, providing both the unique id and the password to the different people to different community with a unique identifier that is authorization and when i compile when i combine both the username and the password that is a authentication and that was also pointed out with the authorization and authentication that were processes used in many applications for the security reasons that is providing the users with credentials for entering the application that can be designed in a way which should be reused for the future design or future reuse now to illustrate the cfmx components we shall design a component we shall design a simple application for generating the unique access codes as a component which can easily be embedded which can easily be taken care of the applications of an organization so what's over the requirements of the access codes what's over the profiles we are using up that profiles must be fulfilled must be getting up with the access code now what is access code yes very good now let's see what are the various requirements for using the access codes this access code should have a large number of possible values that compared with those used so what's over the values what's over the data we are using up that must be provided with the uh, multiple values with the with, with the set of the possible values and these these means yes access code should be assigned randomly to the user there's no predefined that it will be assigned when and how it should be provided randomly to the users and the access code should be unique third part is it should be unique not it assigned to more than one user so this is a um duplicate part that will be that will not be given to the any other users so first is a uh, large number of possible values Second is randomly assigned to the user. Third one is that must be unique. That must be um, supplied to more than one users. And this access code alone is not very safe. Precautions against the intruders. But as long as the system does not contain sensitive personal or economic information of importance, so there is a simple access code that can be satisfactory. That can be. taken as a precautions taken as a safe precaution against the intruders but as long as the system does not contain sensitive personal information they provide the simple access code now if you provide higher security code so consider to combine the access code with the for example the user's email address that is the date of birth or the birthplace next what is the main component for generating unique random numbers so we investigate that the components to be developed should be called from an application template to which the access code should be supplied access code should be used we save it in a database for the future authentication so as per this example the application is executed by a single template which calls upon a template which calls upon a component and displays an unused access code that is requested let's see the figure that illustrates the structure of a component with four function with four method that is included over here
Now this is the diagram that shows the damped rate cooling that is the CF invoke, and there are four parts in this main that is CF object, totally generated, and the CF for the check. This is a model of component that is access numbers. And main function controls the processes that can be compared that can be used with the main procedure of a traditional computer program. In addition to this, three more functions methods are included in the components. And the four functions of the components are main, retrieve, generate, and the check. So whatsoever the profile, whatsoever the component that is in, in work from the template access number dot CFM, this template plays the role of an application needing the processing of the component. And whatever the purpose we are taking out, whatever the usage they are taking out for the demonstration, this template shows or displays a list of most recently generated access numbers and the requested new numbers. This is the access number dot CFM, CF invoke component, access component method is main, hidden variable, access number, CF invoke center. In the center, there is a font H2 for the uh, main size, font color is 000FF, and the vacant access number is font will be closed. Then H2 will be closed. CF output access number and the CF output will be closed and set. So with this function calling with this line 2 that calls a function method mean with the component. And the value of the variable access number is expected to be returned by the component to the calling profile. Calling template. That displays a list of the or values of the requested new number that components will be called by means of the CF object type. Create object function in the CF script via HTTP. So this RBB is also used for the detailed information on how to use a, or how to call a form. 